we do in this case a low pass low pass filter just to just to see to see the effect of this so low pass filter remember so we have something like like that and then this is here defined so this distance here this is here in but this is here down at least a decibel here and um, and then we've got our our transition width here and so how do we do that do this do this in python as i as i said the um what we need to know is now is in, in order to create our um, Kaiser window, we need to have the number of tabs and we need to have this beta parameter. And so, beta and M, and, um, and there's a handy command which, which just calculates this according to the formulas. Kaiser order and then um, and here we've got our A and then width so that's our our parameter from from here and then the then the width is this is this parameter here so very simple with that we are getting the number number of tabs and this is our our beta required for the kaiser window And remember, alpha is just uh, basically half of m, so we don't need to need to calculate this. This is part part of um, of m here you know, implicitly anyway. So let's write this here down again. So m comma beta Kaiser ort then a comma width so remember this was was this parameter here so that was here our our a in decibel and the the width this is the the width normalized so transition width Transition width normalized to to Nyquist, so that that then then can can run from from zero to to one, and um, defines our transition width, and so with that then we are able to generate our Kaiser window. So W Kaiser and then M, so that goes goes in in here in, in our Kaiser window, and then the beta parameter also goes into that, and then um, now with that with with this window, obviously we need to have our actual FIR coefficients, so FIR. So we need to generate the FIR coefficients, and um, we just do this with the um, FIR win command. B equals FIR win, and then um, M. So it's again our same M here. Let's say we want to have a low pass characteristic, and now we need to add something here.
to prevent the FRR win command from using actually window function by itself. Because otherwise it would do that. So it just switches off. So disables disables own window. Might be humming or hunting. I'm not sure which one. The um, but that's somewhere in the documentation of this command. And then and then here that's the that's a low pass low pass cutoff. And that's here again the number of tabs. Then of course with that we um, we can create our our final our final um, coefficients here just by multiplying the window function with our with our coefficients here and these are now our FIR filter coefficients. Okay, so with that, with that knowledge, we can we can have a bit of a play now in now in Spider. So I have um, already prepared this here. So here we've got the the Kaiser Ort command. Then here FIR win command, which generates uh, generates us here um, the low pass filter. And then here. Um, then just the generating the Kaiser window, then multiplying this together, and um, and then just looking at the frequency response. So let's see what this generates us here. And so we see here, um, here I've got 100 decibel damping re requested for the side loop here. And, and as we see here, this is bang on at uh, minus 100 decibel for that. Transition width is um, 0.5 normalized to, to Nyquist. So it's also looking quite quite plausible here in terms of that. Let's make this makes this a bit smaller here just to just to give the, the filter a bit more more to work. Let's see how the um, effect of that is. Yeah so so now I see I've just, just requested a more narrow transition width here and um, and it's and it's quickly jumps down here to all again one uh, minus 100 here so it's quite a quite impressive impressive um, function that you can request this and you're getting exactly what you what you want so it's very useful it's just um, just to see let's relax relax the damping a bit let's say 40 decibel is absolutely fine and um, bring it bring it back up here and then we see now here we are up here to 40 decibel and again this works as bang on so there's a um if you want to if you want to use the the, the fir win command itself can also generate directly uh, um, can directly use the kaiser window here so if you want to want to do want to do this um, instead and um, save a few commands we can we can do the following So here, um, FIR win with um, Kaiser window. Then um, what is done here that this parameter is directly the um, the beta parameter here, because the the M comes here from the Kaiser order, and um, so this goes here in the FIR win, and then and then here. The beta parameter comes comes also from Kaiser Ort, so we can directly generate our our H function, and so we see we have um, essentially just two commands. With that one, we're getting our number of tabs, and with that, we're generating our filter. So let's see if this if this works. And um, again, so we see here the the requested 40 decibel is here. So that's again the same. And so therefore, if I'm if I'm requesting this now to 200 we should again get the get our 100 decibel back here so you see 
this um, this works directly here with that. So that's an implicit parameter here that if you're just supplying a number, it's automatically the beta parameter for the for the Kaiser window. Look at the documentation to to see that this is actually true. Okay, so we see that the Kaiser window um, is a very useful way of um, creating filters without um, messing about with um, with number of tabs and transition widths to and plotting the response and gives us directly the right filter response what we want.